Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. It's all handed over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call it the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. It was the AFL. NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold. And think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today. And with the whole world watching at the end of this game, at the end of tonight, one of these two sides, they get to etch their name in NFL immortality. No doubt about it. They hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league, the Lombardi Trophy. After Joe Namath and the guarantee, we are underway in Super Bowl 53. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. The bottom line, he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Good work that time to get them to jump, and now here's first and 10. Play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And the 
tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Only a yard on the pick up there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Still leaves him with fourth and short. Any chance you go for it? It's definitely in the back of my mind. In fact, I've discussed it with my staff all week long, different situations that I may want to go for. Where is the ball on the field? Do I have confidence in my trigger guy? What am I going to do? I'm also talking about my analytics department. What are the odds if I don't get it? What's it going to do to me the rest of the game? Personally, I end up taking all that, putting it in my head, <laughs> and making a decision. And you know me, I'm probably going to go for it. Well, Latrine, you want to make an opening drive statement. Yes, I do. Once I have the ball and I've got it on the move, I don't want to just give up that easily. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And no, incomplete. Boy, they took a shot there on the first play, tried to start it out with a bang. But it's second down. As the offensive starters pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. To throw is Brady. Allen has it, left side. And down he'll go at the 25. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch. It's still an effective gain, nonetheless. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Samson Abuka able to drop him for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. They do go for it. It's Brady. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. Nothing, nothing, our score. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.